you know, soccer is a very popular sport on the Sunshine Coast. In fact, sport in general is very popular on the Sunshine Coast, so people love to be able to go and see great events at our stadium. So the opportunity to showcase the Indigenous players, both men and women, uh, you know, we're very proud to have that opportunity to do that here in our region. So the Indigenous Roos have been uh, selected from all around the country to represent our people. So we've gathered here up in the Gubbi Gubbi land on the Sunshine Coast. So we're here um, celebrating and participating in the Australian Indigenous Koalas, a week-long football festival that's held at the Sunshine Coast. This morning we were down um, by the beach learning our cultural dance, our war cry for the game. It was almost like a relief on, on, the, on the communities, whether you're speaking from uh, the Kabi Kabi or the Kwandamooka, whatever nation that they were coming from and playing from, they were just relieved that the event was just taken off. Indigenous Australians know how to play sport, but they know how to win. They are incredibly fierce competitors, and they are here to win these games, and they're here to express themselves and their culture, and that's all that's important. I've played professionally for, so I think it's about 17 years, and I was fortunate to play for the Socceroos, and scored on debut in my first game, becoming the first Indigenous goal scorer for the Socceroos. Indigenous football in Australia is growing at a rapid pace, probably faster than we can keep up. Uh, we're seeing a lot of new young emerging talent coming in. Some of Australia's best players are Indigenous players and they've been strutting their stuff on the world stage for some time. People love to be able to go and see great events at our stadium. Performing that war cry on Saturday, I think we're all going to come with, you know, feeling 10 foot taller. Always representing our culture is, it's so hard to even put into words, um, but when you know you've got your last name on your back of your shirt, there's an immense pride. It's just a, a true honour. It's a big honour for me, you know, like I'm playing not only for my family, but all the people up on the Sunshine Coast, you know, all the other states. It's a proud moment, you know, not many people around the country or around the world get to wear their national colours and I think, you know, I'm a role model now playing for the Australian team and there's a lot of little kids looking up to me and I want to put on a good show and be professional for them to think, you know what, I can do that when I get older and I can go down that pathway.